Let's begin with the first point that is the meaning and the concept of human rights. Human rights are the moral principles or the norms that describe certain standards of human behaviors and they are regularly protected in the municipal and the international law. They are commonly understood as inalienable fundamental rights to which a person is inherently entitled simply because she or he is a human being. And hence these are inherent in all the human beings regardless of their age, their ethnic origin, their location, their language, their religion, their ethnicity or any other status. They are applicable everywhere and at the time in the sense of being universal and they are egalitarian in the sense of being the same for everyone. They are regarded as requiring the empathy and integral part of the rule of law. Interestingly, at one point in time, it protects the interest of one person and at the same time, it gives the duty and the obligation to same person to respect the human rights of others and it is generally considered that they should not be taken away except as a result of a due process of law based on the specific circumstances. Secondly, the human rights, they are the historical concept that exists in every civilization and in all the forms of governance. Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism and Confucian have made reference to respect and well-being for others, which mean that human beings must conduct themselves in a particular way. The modern society also has recognized certain rules of respecting the human dignity and their well-being and formulated them in a form of human rights. However, in the medieval era, the modern concept of human rights substantially documented in the English Magna Carta of 1215 and English Bill of Rights 1689. The Magna Carta of 1215 was an agreement between the English King John and the barons who were unhappy about the taxation policies of the monarch. The Magna Carta included clauses in the forms of rights language if granted the barons the right to legal trial and prevented their arrest or imprisonment or outlawing or abuse or denial of ownership of property without the legal trial. You guys must have heard about the English Bill of Rights. What it is? The English Bill of Rights of 1689 was an agreement between the parliament and the king that prevented the latter from abusing the protestants. It included the causes that prohibited leaving of money by the crown and provided right to petition the king, right to fair trial, right against cruelty and unusual punishments or excessive fines and right to parliamentary privileges, we can say that speech, vote, etc. to the members of the parliament. Have you ever heard the name of the guys such as John Locke, Jean Locke, Jean Jackson Rousseau? So these are some of the Western thinkers, which including the John Locke, Jean Locke, Jean Jacques Rousseau, Thomas Paine, etc. also attempted to define the concept of human rights that you can see in the given image where the definitions also illustrated. So I hope you must be clear with the first point. So guys, if you still have any query, any doubt regarding the same chapter, regarding these points which we have learned in this video, do comment in the comment box given below. Take care and stay safe.